Hey everybody, all right, it's time to hunt some half dollars. I called a local community bank that I used to get boxes from, but they're a little farther away, about 20 minutes from my house, and I just stopped going there last year. I don't know why, but I'm having a hard time getting half dollar boxes for the live stream, so I thought I would call them up. They, they've always been very nice and see if they could order some half dollars for me. They said they could, so I'm gonna get two boxes next week. In the meantime, the teller said, you know what, I've got $617 in halves sitting in my vault. Do you want those? And I thought, well, they've probably been searched. But then I thought again, well, $500 has probably been searched. The other $117 may be just uh, some half dollars that someone had laying around the house and they brought them in. So I said, I'll tell you what, I'll, I'll take them off your hands just so you can get them out of your vault. And she was happy about that. And I'll be honest, when I picked them up at the bank, I looked over on the side and I saw a silver 40 percenter and I've I've done a little bit of peeking uh, since then. So I know it's got more than one silver coin in here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, put this in a bin like there, cut the top off, do a quick edge hunt just to see if I can pull out the silver and then I'll put the rest of the halves in another bin and then come back and hunt that bin for errors and varieties and I'll come back along the way. Uh, and we'll stop the uh, video whenever we find something silver. But I'm going to set up the overhead camera, and we're going to do a time lapse and record everything just so you can uh, have a little fun doing the hunt with me. So let me get started. All right, I've got everything set up here. I've got this bag in a bin so that the coins don't fall over. There we go. So again, I'm just gonna grab a handful like this, do an edge search. That's a shiny 95. Put them in here and then come back and hunt this later. I think we've got our first silver coin and we do 1965 40%er right on the top there. Up oh, and a 1968, Let's see if I can spy any more just off the top. Let me zoom out a little bit. That was the bicentennial. All right, let's keep going. Look at that. Sweet. 1963 Benji. That side looks horrible, but that side doesn't look bad. 1963 out of Denver. Wow. It looked it looked like a, a dirty 70s coin, but we'll take it. Nineteen sixty five, forty per center. Nineteen sixty seven, forty per center. There's a proof, 2006 proof, not a silver proof though, but that's a proof.
1968 40 percenter. Nineteen sixty six, forty per center. Nineteen sixty eight, forty per center. Nineteen sixty eight, forty per center. There's another proof, 2003, the other proof was a 2006. Nineteen sixty nine, forty per center. And that's it for the bag. But not too bad, not too bad at all. Just the one ninety, the Franklin that looks like it has some paint on it or something. 940s, 265s, a 66, a 67, 468s, and a 69, and then a couple proofs. They're not silver proofs, but they're not in bad shape. So that's pretty sweet. So now what I'll do is I'll hunt the rest of the box, or the hunt the rest of the tub here. Uh, I'll look for errors and varieties, maybe some silver that I missed, uh, hunting it by the edge, and I'll come back when I've got something good. I'm about halfway through the uh, bucket here, and it's not a great find, but it is a find. That's a 1974 pocket coin. So, at least that's something. A few uh, dozen handfuls later, we've got another find. It's our first NIFC, 2009, out of Philly. That's it for the uh, bag or the, the bucket or the bin, whatever that thing is. So didn't really find anything else uh, besides what we found in the initial edge hunt, except for the 2009 and the pocket coin. I also checked all of the silver for any uh, errors or varieties. Did not find anything there. So the final total, 940s, 190, and I did... I wiped this off with a wet rag, so this may have been a, an ender because the, the back is pretty much, uh, it's not perfect, but a lot better than the front. So maybe they put this in a, uh, they put it in a roll and then over time it just got uh, all toned, but still pretty cool. I'll take it. And then I also wiped down the proofs and you can see 
some circulation dings in there, but still not a bad bag. I'll take those. Uh, if those were in a box, I would take that every time. So thanks again for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Also, feel free to leave us a comment below and we'd really appreciate it if you click subscribe. Thanks again for watching and good luck with your hunts.